All this week, I've been answering questions about my Freddie Green Chords workshop coming up tomorrow, Saturday, April 22nd. And for today's question and answer, I got asked about something I talked about yesterday. And the question was, could you explain a little bit more about how understanding the swing version of the blues chord progression helps you to play swing solos? So yeah, let me just talk for a minute here about, say, the first four bars of the blues. So if you're playing the 12 bar blues in a swing context, at its simplest, this is how you'd think about the first four bars. You'd play, if we're in B flat, you'd play B flat six, E flat seven, back to B flat six, and then B flat seven, taking you over to E flat seven in bar five. Now, instead of just playing the blues scale or the minor pentatonic scale, you might actually start to spell out the sound of each chord you're on. So if you're on B flat, a B flat six chord in particular, here's the fifth and the sixth and the root and the third of B flat six, which doesn't sound like that much until you start to turn it into licks. Which, if that sounds at all familiar, slow it down and play it over a shuffle and you've got BB King. Because BB King was a smart guy and listened to a lot of swing and jazz. So, if that's what you play over the B flat, just looking at the swing chord voicings, you can see the only real difference between B flat six and your four chord, E flat seven, is this one note that goes down one fret. So E flat seven includes almost all the same notes. This is the, the ninth and the third and the fifth and the flat seven of E flat. So you can take this opening lick and turn it into an E flat lick just by changing one note. And even without someone playing the chords in the background, you can hear the chords going by. And then back to the first chord. And then in the fourth bar, we're going to some kind of B flat seven chord. So the big change between B flat six and B flat seven is the sixth coming up to the flat seven. So if we end our lick the last time by going down to the flat seven, again, we can hear the chords going by just from the lick. take us over to E flat. So that's just one example, but it illustrates the thought process, which, you know, the implications are huge. So that's one reason to start with the chords first before you start trying to do the soloing, because if you understand the way uh, that swing musicians think about the 12 bar blues as a chord progression, it gives you this huge insight into how they're thinking about soloing over it as well. So. The Freddie Green Chords Workshop is taking place tomorrow. It's a live stream, but even if you can't be at the live stream, if you still want to take the workshop anyway, go to the link below or the link on screen to sign up and register, and there will be a complete replay available right after the live stream is over. So even if you can't be there, you can still get all the same information, download the same PDF, watch the same thing, and learn all the same stuff. So that's happening tomorrow. Go to the link below or the link on screen to sign up and there will be more information coming after the workshop about the upcoming swing scale and bebop for beginners workshops as well. Mm -hmm.